Hey there guys and welcome back to Ben 10 Omniverse. In the last episode we unlocked Gravitac and we're in the sewers for some reason. I'm kind of lost. I mean, every environment in this game looks the same. The time travel really is a convenient excuse to just reuse the same environments because, oh, you're gonna go there in both timelines. In other words, the developers just got really, really lazy. Also with the robot enemies. These are pretty much the enemies that you're going to be fighting the entire damn game. Oh, crap, another one respawns. Just stay dead, please. There we go. Alright, computer terminal. Sure. And where do we get to go now? Oh. Oh, come on, they're just reusing this from the training simulation as well. Come on, people, at least put in some effort. Let me blow that up. Okay. Ah, oh, crap, there's mines all over the place. Oh, well. Rook, I'll send you ahead. You're not going... Oh, there we go, you're going ahead. Oh, he fell off and died. What a surprise. It's not like he's never done that before. And ground pound. Awesome. That was a major success. Also, that power-up is not even... Rem oh, it's not even a power-up. Oh well, I'll take the experience points, I guess. What have we here? An elevator. Why does Shock Quatch jump like he's on the moon? Like, what's wrong with the gravity? I can understand Gravitag jumping like that, because he controls gravity, but not freaking Shock Squatch. Oh well. Look, it's more robots. And Shock Squatch deals with them pretty easily, because they are weak to thunder damage, and he has a three-hit combo, because it leveled him up already. So he's the go-to alien right now. Ah, crap. Of course they stomp the elevator. Oh well. Gravitank will bust him up just as easily as Shock, Shock Squatch does. And ground pound. Oh, jeez. It almost seems as if the ground pound made the elevator move again. They just had to pound it loose. Oh, sweet. We're in the caves now. All right, then. Or is this still the sewer or whatever? Uh, who do I want to upgrade? Uh, Cannon Bolt Wild Vine. Heat. I'll do Heat Blast. Maybe that'll give me an incentive to use them. Anyway. What are all these yellow things? Creepy lights or something? Or just decorations? I don't know. More stupid robots. And these enemies aren't, like, they aren't based on anything in the cartoon, as far as I know. They're just completely original creations, not all that interesting. Oh, power up. Well, I guess it's a good thing I climbed up there. Oh, sweet, one of those. Ah, oh, I still need two more, damn it. Maybe there's one in here. Or maybe not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Just go bust up more robots. Look at the enemy variety in this game, it's so impressive, he said, while maintaining a certain degree of sarcasm. I mean, have we? We haven't even seen any different kinds of enemies in this video. And I don't even think in the last video either. There are a couple different enemies that we're, we haven't seen yet, but uh, out of all the Ben 10 games I've done on this channel so far, this one is arguably the least amount of enemy variety. Anyway, moving on. Rook, put your weapon away. It needs to recharge. Probably. Oh, we're heading back into town, I guess. Wait, this looks like a place for a boss fight. Wide open arena. Yep, this is gonna be a boss fight. Well, that doesn't look friendly. No, but it does look somehow familiar. I'm not exactly sure why they don't recognize that thing, because they fought it in the cartoon a crap ton of times. This is Mucilator. It is the pet of another villain in the cartoon, who's basically this bounty hunter guy, or just hunter, and he sees Ben Tennyson as the ultimate hunting trophy. And he has this pet that's equipped with some sort of Omnitrix knockoff that can turn his pet into the predators of all of Ben's aliens. 
Yeah, the premise is kinda dumb, but it resulted in some pretty interesting creature designs, at least. And this guy is the natural predator of one of Ben's aliens that is not in this game, even though it really should be. This is the predator of Crash Hopper, a new alien Ben unlocks in episode 6, I believe. And as the name suggests, Crash Hopper is basically just a grasshopper, whose only power is to jump really high. And he is sort of resistant to damage, I believe, so he can just crash into things and just destroy them and he won't get hurt much. That's basically his only power. Uh, seems like he would work pretty well in this game because, you know, all he could do is basically punch and kick stuff like any alien in this game does. But for some reason, he's not in this game. That's right, a video game made to advertise Ben 10 Omniverse does not include all of the new aliens in Ben 10 Omniverse. And it's not like, oh, this, uh, this game was too far in production to add Crash Hopper. I mean, he unlocked Ben unlocked Gravitack in Episode 3 and Crash Hopper in Episode 6. So don't go around telling me that there wasn't time to add freaking Crash Hopper to this game. Because I'm pretty sure, like, images of him, like, from a toy or something were leaked way before that episode aired. And, curious fact, Crash Hopper is actually in the 3DS version. And DS version. Because for some reason, they, uh... Wildvine and Blocks are not in that, in those versions. Instead, I believe the DS and 3DS versions have Crash Hopper and Upchuck. So it's like, why wouldn't Wildvine and Blocks work in those games, and why wouldn't Upchuck and Crash Hopper work in this game? It's just stupid. Should have just added as many aliens as they could. I mean. The show is all about that. Tons of aliens. Hell, they should have even added Kicking Hawk to this. Because I'm pretty sure he was already thought of and designed way before this game was even made. And, uh... So maybe Rip Jaws or Upgrade or something. Those never get to be in any video games. Anyway, he shoots out all these, uh... I've really been talking over the entire boss fight and not paying any attention to it at all. But yeah, he shoots out these sacks, which he never did in the cartoon, so there's that. Basically, in the cartoon, those pink things on his body were like really squishy, and if you touched them, you got stuck. Which is why he can easily beat Crash Hopper. Crash Hopper can just jump at him, that's all he can do, and he ends up in the sacks, and he gets stuck, and then he gets killed. Basically. However, that would make for a pretty poor boss fight, so they made him able to shoot the things everywhere. Anyway, quick time finishers. Ah, I frick, I hate the the rotating motion because I never get it wrong, or I never get it right. Jeez. Uh, I hate the ones, the circular motions that are specific about which way you're spinning the control stick. Like it said, okay, I know it said spin it counterclockwise, but it still should work if you're spinning it clockwise. I mean. Does the direction even matter? I mean, the spinning seems all that's important to me. Anyway, he will shoot out three different kinds of sacks. The pink ones sort of home in on you. The green ones and the orange ones crawl back to him. The green ones will heal him if he touches them. The orange ones you can hit and then they will damage him when they touch him. So yeah, it's basically... If he just wouldn't shoot those things out, he wouldn't really take that much damage. Anyway, Shock Squad just beats the crap out of him, shocks him in the face. And then it's up to forearms, pummel him around a little. Smack him in the head, and... Oh, how did that need a spinning motion? That's bullshit. All right. Yeah, you'd better run! Interesting. I thought the young plumber was out of the picture. Don't worry, old friend. You'll get another opportunity soon enough. Malware might be in charge, but I will not allow even him to deprive me of my greatest trophy, Ben Tennyson. See, pretty much exactly as I've told. So yeah, that's another one of the main villains of Ben 10 Omniverse. Anyway, that's the end of the level. Get another nice trophy. 
and uh, oh, we've only been playing this game for an hour. Well, I guess that's kind of right. Oh, we got another one. Not a scratch. What did I get that for? I have no idea. Not a scratch would mean that I didn't get hurt, but I'm pretty sure I got hurt multiple times. Or maybe it's because I completed the level without dying. I don't think I died in this level. That's probably it. That's some story. Getting his hands on the proto tool must be how malware got the ability to change tech into different forms instead of just absorbing it. That's why he's so powerful now. My inadvertent intrusion into the past seems to have created an alternate timeline. We must undo the damage. Well, I guess if Lukic and Reba broke the timeline, they can fix it. Unfortunately, they were captured by Siphon while they were out scrounging for parts and stuff. He's holding them somewhere in Gastown. Then we should focus our efforts on finding them. Oh jeez, Siphon is in this game as well? It's really turning out to be a really revolving door of villains. Uh, if you're not familiar with the series but have seen the other Ben 10 games I've done, uh, Siphon was that black and white guy who was like Vilgax's crony. I think he was in both Ben 10 games I did actually. Yeah, in the first one he was working for Vilgax, and the second one he was working for the evil way big. So, yeah. Guess he's still in this game. Recurring boss, I suppose. Ah, more of these things, really. At least I can knock him off the cliff here. What's the deal with that weird pattern? It does seem familiar, but what do we need to do with it? I don't know, but I think we're about to get a brand new alien. Do we? Oh crap! Yep, we get blocks. Oh boy. Stupid, stupid blocks. I think I mentioned him earlier in this episode. Blocks is the first new alien that Ben got in Omniverse, and it is also by far the stupidest one, in my opinion. You will realize why as soon as you take but a single look at him. Because he is made of freaking Lego blocks. Hence the name, of course. Which is just... How? It doesn't make sense. Let's assume that all of these aliens that Ben has are creatures that evolved on some sort of planet. I would love to see the kind of planet that would lead a creature to evolve into a freaking shape-shifting gorilla made out of Lego blocks. It's just completely stupid. I mean, what the hell were they thinking when they made that? And he really doesn't add that much to Ben's like power set with all the aliens he has because okay blocks can shapeshift into that thing and he can also turn into a bridge which is what we need here to cross the gap so yeah he can shapeshift okay that's not really that big of a deal because hell goop can do that upgrade can do that maybe not in the same way as blocks can but still he has several shape-shifting aliens already and just to have one made out of freaking lego blocks it's just so stupid i mean they really knocked it out of the park with grav attack cool design powers that weren't featured in another ben alien just they really nailed it with that one and then they just screw it up so badly with blocks just, what the hell were they thinking Anyway, I can do another upgrade. Uh, I'll do blocks, I guess. Because while I hate him, he is fairly useful because he has really long range on his attacks. Because his arms are so stretchy. Which Ben also didn't need a new alien for because he's got Wild Vine that can do that. Uh, he's got that mummy that can do that. So once again, blocks is completely unnecessary. Although, I must say, he does allow for some fairly funny scenes in the cartoon I guess I think he got cut in half in one episode and didn't give a crap and just kept on walking so that was pretty funny uh, yeah I don't really remember any other great blocks moments although he is used fairly often in the cartoon that's not the reason why I don't like him 
the design is poor, the powers are stupid, it doesn't make any sense, and he's used way too much. Like, Gravitac doesn't get any screen time compared to Blocks, it's just lame. Anyway, more red thingies. Uh, I really need to get one of the aliens to level 3, I guess. I think I'll get them all to level 2 first. Kinda wanna keep it even. Because if I upgrade one to level 3, then I'm only gonna be using that one because it's obviously gonna be the best. And I get rid of Heat Blast, put in Grav Attack because I gotta have my Grav Attack. Alright. Get a move on. Oh, we get new enemies for once. The Vriedel Brothers. I'm not exactly sure why there are so many of them. Or why they're working with Malware's regime. It's just, they took, like, a, an enemy from the show. Not even a generic enemy of that. And they just turned it into a generic enemy that works with the main bad guy, even though they're not even related. Like, there is absolutely nothing that links the Vriedel Brothers to frickin' Malware. Now you might recognize the Vriedel Brothers from the other two Ben 10 games, I think they were in both of those as well. And the reason there are so many of them is that they are all clones. Uh, yeah, they're... I think their backstory was that they came from a defective cloning kit or something, and they get killed off multiple times on the show, and they just keep coming back, and it's like a different pair. For some reason, they're always paired together instead of, like, having two of the same ones. It's like one of each. I do kind of like them. They're pretty good comedy villains. Not really good for a serious plot, but whenever they're around, stuff blows up, and it's generally amusing. Anyway, beating up on more... Oh, gee, for everyone I kill, like, three more spawn. Diamond Head, you're up. Because he is really good. Just that seven-hit combo, so much damage on that. And that's not that bad of a move, either. And he's generally pretty strong, and all these guys are shooting lasers, and Diamond Head really doesn't give a crap about lasers, so he's also a pretty good one to use. What does it say? Oh, oh, I got the 50 kills trophy for Diamond Head already? Crap, guess I gotta tone down on my Diamond Head usage. Because I did say that I was gonna at least sort of stop using the alien as soon as I got the 50 kills with it, because I do want to get as many trophies as I can out of one run. Oh! Okay, another cannonbolt ramp. Rook, stay there. Be useful. Oh, crap. Okay, gotta aim it right, I guess. And... What the hell? I was totally aiming that right. There we go. Alright, Rook, get your ass up here. No time for lollygagging. Ah, the AI is so stupid. Uh, yeah, I gotta switch out Diamond Head, I guess. Uh, Shock Squatch. He's probably pretty good at the robots as well. And moving on. Into town. Run Earth Pac-Mar is gonna show up again. Though that gag has kind of worn out its welcome already. Can I make that jump with Shock Squatch? That's not... Gamble. Just better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Alright, Vriedels. You're gonna die. They're not much tougher than the robots. I think they may actually be weaker. Which is strange, because you'd think an enemy introduced after another enemy is going to be stronger than that enemy. But apparently not. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's 50 kills with Shock Squatch already. And one more thing. That's nice. So I guess we gotta rotate Shock Squatch out of the bunch as well now. Oh well. There's plenty of other guys to choose from. Uh... Forearms? Yeah, well, let's go with forearms. Just get that out of the way. And just in case you're wondering, the those kills trophy, they do stack, like, with different timelines. Except for, of course, the aliens that are only in one of the timelines. Like Grav Attack or Blocks or Eye Guy or Accelerate. So yeah, that's all for now. I will see you guys in the next episode of Ben 10 Omniverse. Bye-bye.